Hi everyone, I'm Anna and I work for LMM in Leeds. A group of us here have been thinking about making our voice heard around climate change through creativity, art and craft. So, for the Climate Coalition lobby on the 30th of June, we'll be joining in by getting creative. We've been hugely influenced by Sarah Corbett's book, How to Be a Craftivist, The Art of Gentle Protest. She shares a beautiful vision of making real change happen, building community and also looking after your mental health. On the back of her book, it says, If we want a world that is beautiful, kind and fair, shouldn't our activism be beautiful, kind and fair? Activist burnout is so common, and through my work at LMM, we are trying to help people care for themselves alongside changing the world. No matter how talented or not you believe yourself to be in arts or crafts or anything creative, the process of creating something beautiful that you're proud of brings satisfaction, a sense of achievement, but also a time of real focus. All of this can have a really positive impact on your mental health and provide a space where you pause and focus on one issue, one stitch, one brush stroke or paper fold at a time. We see this as something to go alongside the rest of the actions at the lobby. A slightly different way of speaking to your MP. This can be as well as speaking to your MP, a way of inviting your MP into conversation or, if you find speaking to your MP terrifying, a different way of catching their attention to this vital issue. Hi, I'm Emma. I've been working with Anna on some of the craftivism stuff that she's been doing in Leeds. As we all know, climate change can be a really scary issue for people to engage with, especially for MPs who might feel overwhelmed by their responsibility around this issue and want to focus on the 1,000 other things that are vying for their attention. The heart of craftivism assumes that deep down other people want to make the world a better place too, even if they might have a misguided way of going about that. While there are many instances where getting angry and telling the frightening truths about the situation in which we find ourselves is necessary, craftivism provides an alternative way of engaging in activism, of showing how exciting the solutions to climate change might be. A world with cleaner air and seas, support for local communities, and healthier lifestyles more in tune with nature are really positive things that we can invite people to participate in building with us. Taking the time to create a beautiful object, to put thought and reflection into its messaging and to give it as a gift to someone is a great way of bringing them on side and can be an excellent campaigning tool as well as a more nurturing form of activism for ourselves. We are also working with Grace. She is a keen crafter and upcycler, but what she is best known for is painting electric boxes locally with beautiful and encouraging messages. She is passionate about the climate and is on a zero waste journey herself, taking many along with her. She has gifted local church leaders plants for their desks to remind them of the beautiful world that we live in and to remember that in their day to day decision making. For the climate lobby, she is going to repaint one of the electric boxes which has been graffitied on and send her MP, Rachel Reeves, a video telling her why this issue is so important. Underneath this video, you should see the link to a blog which has all sorts of patterns and ideas of creative things that you can do. So whether you have paper, coloured pencils, paint, needle and thread, knitting needles or a crochet hook, we have ideas for each of you. I have started some cross stitch for my MP Hilary Ben and you'll be able to find this pattern on the blog as well. So why not support the lobby today by getting creative?